Hello and welcome to Hotstone Media. This video is about how to change the brake pads and disc on our Audi TT Mark II. The first thing to do would be to jack up the vehicle and take the wheel bolts off. After you've taken the wheel off, you have to turn the steering so the caliper is facing towards you. Then use a screwdriver to pry open the spring that's on the front end of the caliper. Take off the plastic caps that's covering the bolts on the back of the caliper. Then you can take off the caliper bolts using a 7mm allen key. Then you need to push the caliper piston back using a screwdriver or any other caliper prying tool. Then the caliper should just come off. And there's usually a brake wear sensor, a brake pad wear sensor on one side of the vehicle, usually on the passenger side. You will have to disconnect that cable. Use a small flathead screwdriver to pry the locking clip. After you've taken the caliper off, you should be able to take off the brake pads. Then take off the little torque screw on front of the brake disc. Now you can take off the 21mm bolts that's holding the brake pad carrier. After that the brake pad carrier should come off and you should be able to knock the brake disc off. After you've taken the disc off, you should clean the hub using a wire brush. After applying a bit of copper grease on the hub, you can put the new brake disc on. Tighten the little torque screw for the brake disc, then you can put the brake pad carrier back on. Then you can put the new brake pads on. Connect the brake pad wear sensor, then you can put the brake pad caliper back on. Then you should put the caliper holding spring back on. Then you can put the wheel back and you should be done for this side. Now you can do the same thing on the other side. Everything should be the same, except for the brake wear sensor, it doesn't have it on this side. And everything would be in the mirror image of the other side.
hope you enjoyed the video. If you like the content, please like, subscribe and share. I will need as much subscribers as possible in order to continue. Thank you for watching my videos.